Hi everybody, this is Apple iOS Genius. Going to go ahead and show you how to make a bootable Mavericks uh, install on your USB drive. If you have an older version of operating system like say Leopard, uh, it would not be compatible. Uh, so, uh, you can still use the standard process as going through the disk utility and creating a bootable USB that way. Or you can actually you just use an uh, third-party software and it can do it for you just as well. It's a freeware, so you know you can go ahead and do that at your leisure. So right now I have gone ahead and uh, plugged in this USB flash drive here that is completely empty. It is actually 64 gigabytes. Uh, it was a good sale that I found on Amazon. So there it is, 62 gigs. And basically what we're going to go ahead and do is go to Disk Utility, which I have here already as I pulled up earlier. Uh, you want to go ahead and then select on your drive, which is a Patriot drive as I have. And select the partition. You can actually just use the whole partition if you wanted to, but I'm going to have a multi-boot partition on here. So I can do like four partitions if I wanted to. Uh, you technically only need eight gigs or more. Or no, eight gigs, pretty much minimum. The, the actual package itself is only like five, six gigabytes. So um, eight gigs would be fine. I'm just going to do 15 here. Actually, I'm going to do... What is it? 64. We're going to do two partitions. Let's see if we can resize this to say 8 gigs. We'll say yeah, if I can get it 8. Oh, I could probably just do this. Though. Okay, and then this will be the. Oh, first of all, sorry. I'm going to go to options. You want to select on GUID partition table. That's how Mac's going to read it. Uh, then you want to, okay, of course, make sure this is journaled. Uh, now we'll go ahead and rename it, and you want to put this, uh, we'll just call this Mavericks. Uh, or we can not do Mavericks, do 10.9.1, because 10.911 is the latest version. We're just going to hit, make sure GUID table is there, select it. You want to select on Untitled 2, Options, and the GUID Partition table is still selected. So that's good. Uh, you want to go ahead and change this to Mac OS Extended. Yeah, so it's extended here, and then it's extended here. Here for the 60 gigabytes, you're going to go ahead and you can put in, we'll just say this will be apps. 60 gigs of apps. Wow, that's going to be a lot of apps. So, that you know, we're going to have this, and then, um, you know what, technically, let me re resize this. Uh, no, just leave it as it is, through this tutorial. Uh, I was going to go ahead and create something else later, but we'll just go ahead and hit apply, hit partition. It's going to go ahead and partition those two. It will take a little moment. You, what you want to do is basically, if you came across my video, I have many videos on YouTube, and there are tutorials. So to look me up the proper way, just go to Apple iOS Genius. And I also do Android as well, and PC and Mac. Uh, you can go ahead and select on uh, Buy iOS Genius. Once you select iOS Genius, it will actually pull up my video channel, my current recent reviews or updates that I've done, and then you can select on videos to see all my other ones as well. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our partitioning. Let's see, oh, it's still partitioning, it's all just about finished. So we're going to need to go to this website, it's called the Lion, actually it's called LionDiscMaker.com. Uh, it is actually their old domain, uh, but pretty soon they'll have a Mavericks Disc Maker domain too as well. Uh, here it says Disc Maker, build an OS 10 disc, now surfing with Mavericks. Here it basically says click here to download Disk Maker 3, about 5 megs, compatible with Mavericks. Now it says here Disk is available for Mavericks installer on OS 10.6.8. So if you have a newer version from 10.7 and 10.7.5, 10.8, 10.8.2, 10.8.5, uh, then you'll be fine. And as well as 10.9. Uh, so you want to go ahead and go ahead and download this. Very small download. It's going to go ahead, there you go. It drops it down to my uh, download folder. So we're going to go ahead and close this. As you can see, the partition is actually done. So there's my apps, and there's a 1091, 8 gigs, and this is 53 gigs. So nothing you need to do here. Normally, you could do the burn option here, which is right here, and this burn option you can go ahead and do in a bootable from disk utility. But uh, sometimes that works, uh, you have to get it in a correct, proper way. You can watch my other video on how to actually do that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and close this. We're going to go to my downloads. The disk maker, disk maker here. You're going to go ahead and open it up. Here's the file. 
So there's this maker, readme file. Here's uh, the this maker 10. Drag it to your application folder. And go ahead and install it. So once it's installed, here it is, this maker 10. So we're just going to go ahead and close this. And then we're going to open this. Uh, now when you go on ahead and open this, you want to go ahead and then select open. Now prior to even opening this application, you want to make sure you do have a download copy of uh, Mavericks on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and do Mavericks. Oops. And here as it says, it's already been downloaded. So what you want to do is you want to hit download again. And then you're going to be prompted with this message that it's already currently installed. You have a newer version than the version that you're downloading. Uh, would you like to download the full OS 10 installer? Yes, you do, because you're going to actually need the installer to make it bootable. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. It's going to download it. As you can see, it's downloading 7.2 out of 5.29 gigabytes. And we made this flash drive of 8 gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and cancel on this opening of the application. We're going to close this for the time being and this as well. Uh, you could leave them open, but we're going to even close. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then when I return, we'll go ahead and continue with uh, with the installer once it's completely downloaded and installed. Okay, thank you. Be right back in a moment. So we're back now and then now what we're going to do after the partitions were done which I have a 64 gigabyte partition with two partitions here is the 1091 which is the 8 gigabytes which I want to put Mavericks on and then this is the apps directory which is 53 gigabytes on a flash drive. Um, what we were going to go ahead and do once we downloaded the application of install Mavericks and what we have right here is installed at 11.45 today what we're going to need to do is go ahead and open that application called Disk Maker and Disk Maker makes it much easier for those in the individuals that don't know how to use Disk Utility properly and well. So when you use Disk Maker, again, this is completely freeware. Feel free to donate because they do a great job in doing this. Uh, so what you want to do, it tells you three operating systems that you can use. If you have this software that you've downloaded or you have it available in a different folder or somewhere that you can use. So we're going to go ahead and do 10.9 for Mavericks. And then for Mavericks, it says it automatically detects the software that's available in your applications folder. So it says, do you want to use that copy? Or maybe if I had another copy sitting up here in my desktop, uh, it, you can go ahead and select another copy. But currently, we're going to use the one in the application, so we're going to use, use this copy. Now at this point, it says this is very important. Now this is what kind of disk will you use. If you have an 8 gigabyte thumb drive, it will be completely erased if you choose another kind of disk only the chosen volume will be erased. The volume is your partition. So since I have two different partitions here, apps and the actual Mavericks uh, install, so I don't want to use the 8 gig USB thumb drive because it's actually going to remove all your partitions automatically. Uh, it's going to reformat it and get it journaled in macOS and GUID table. Uh, in a partition table. So then what you want to do, well, if you're not doing a separate partition partition, and you're doing a full drive, then go ahead and select 8 gigabyte USB drive or it could be a 16 gig or whatever it is. But it's going to allocate that whole partition. So technically you don't, you only need 8 and lower. So you can partition the other drive to be something else. So like your data or data transfer or applications on the fly if you want to use. So I want to select on another kind of a disk. And what it's going to show me, it's going to show me these two partitions available. And what we're going to do is go ahead and select that. And there you go. So now it shows me my 10.1, which is right here, 10.9.1, and my apps, which is right here, which is here. If you had additional hard drives connected, it would actually show all of them as well. So we're just going to go ahead and do it in 10.91. We're going to select choose this disk. And then what it's going to do is it's going to say, wait, hey, wait a second. The whole contents of this disk will be erased. And like, are you sure you want to do this and so forth? So you'll say, yes, go right ahead. If you are concerned and you want to go ahead and do this uh, and erase whatever data you may have on that partition, uh, but if you do have data on the partition, advise will just go ahead and move the partition off that specific folder, let it format and partition that volume, and then go from there. So we want to go ahead and erase and then create. And then it says, well, wait a second. This is like a third confirmation. The next step was for an administrator privilege to build and install a disk. 
So please type your administrator and log in and the password when necessary. So you're going to be prompted as well as I will be prompted. This is if you have a password on your Mac. If you do not have a password on your Mac, you'll still be prompted with the same window, except your password, you don't have to enter a password because you don't have a password and you'll just press enter. But as, as I do, I do have a password. So we just wait a few seconds here. And it go ahead and removes that partition because it's re reformatting that specific volume. And then now what it's doing is as soon as that partition appears, it will go ahead and start loading the uh, install application on there. As you can see, there it goes. It pops up again. It renames that partition. After this is done, you can actually rename that partition volume all over again. Uh, but for right now, you don't need to. It's just a way this is how this software works. So now here I am being prompted with the password. So my network password or my computer password, which is my admin password. Hit enter uh, to go ahead and accept the password change of the format and the erasing of the disk. And you can see now there, there it is. It's erasing the disk, the 0, 10, and 20%. Uh, sometimes on the older version, it did change 0, 10, and 20, and 30, and 40. But at this point, it just went to 20. Uh, this is the updated version from their website. And right now, it's already formatted that drive. It renamed the file to be install OS 10 Mavericks. You can leave it like that or change it to whatever you want to change, rename it to. But do that after the effect because right now it's actually transferring all these files over. So it says, please wait, copy files over. And we can go ahead and take a sneak peek if you wanted to and see what's in here. And as you can see, it's installing the actual uh, OS 10 in there. So what we're going to do, we're not going to touch this or worry about it. We're just going to go ahead and uh, close that window. We're going to let this continue. It's going to go for at least another uh, 10 minutes or less. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue our video at that time and see where we're at with the install OS 10. Okay, be right back in a minute or two. Okay, so now we are actually at the final stage of getting this maker to run. Uh, so when it's actually finished loading up and all the information of it was transferring over, you are prompted with the last few messages, which is a pop-up window, which is this one here. And you're prompted with, now it's an install OS 10 Mavericks. It does have a utilities folder as well. So you can do a password, uh, firmware password or a reset password. Uh, reset password is a great utility in Mavericks. There is reset password for older versions of the operating systems of Mac. Except this one, I can just double click this and then, oh, I actually, you know what, I won't work and open because I have to actually boot from the disk. And this is the other window that actually tells you. So this window here, your OS 10 boot disk is ready to use it. Reboot your Mac and press the option key uh, or alt key in Windows and select it in the startup option uh, disk preference. And if you enjoy disk manager, put donations and so forth. So I've already provided my donation several times. This is just basically a walkthrough of how to use the application. Uh, I would definitely recommend them to give them a, a donation on your first use or so when you do use it because it's a great program and they're going to hopefully keep creating more new additional programs for the future operating systems of Apple. So we're going to go ahead and quit this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close this. So basically the two partitions. I had the apps partition and then this partition that they created themselves. It originally was called install uh, Mavericks. And then at the final stage when it actually completed it, now it's called OS 10.9 install disk 1091, which 1091 was the original name that I had it on. It just appended to my naming of how I have a name. They put their own logo on here as well. So basically, sometimes I like to go ahead and keep the logos that I find. So here are other logos that I do come across on. So I would go here to the icon, do info, highlight the little tiny icon, command C to copy it, uh, go to a specific folder, and then I do uh, info again, go to the folder a little icon, hit command V to paste, and now I get a copy of that version of that logo icon. Uh, this is what I just do personally for myself for all my flash drives. As you can see, these are flash drives here, and there's another flash drive that my previous employer, uh, I scanned the actual flash drive and converted it into a, a picture so I could put it in. So there you go. So now if we go ahead and open this, now you have that all the time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and eject this. 
and then we're going to go ahead and plug it in and then what's going to happen is it should self automatically open the application if it doesn't uh, that's no worries but we can also open it manually so I've ejected it now I've inserted it again and it'll pop up in a moment there you go so once it's uh, gone ahead and popped it up as you can see those are the specific partitions that was the flash drive that I formatted it earlier and that was 64 gigabytes so this is my disk utility and as you can see there's my partition is 65 gigs OS 10 and the apps so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial of how to use disk maker and totally recommend their donations and providing a donation to them and to making better and future software applications thanks and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video Feel free to subscribe and put your comments and suggestions or questions possibly and see what else I can do for you. Thanks. Have a good day.